Hi everyone, Rena Wells here, and I'm here to do your pick a card reading. Um, today we're gonna be doing yes or no in regards to love. So basically I have four cards here. We've got pile number one here, which is just some girl with a purple, <laughs> purple outfit. Then we have a little angel here, so that's deck number two. Deck number three is this man in the suit, and deck number three is, sorry, deck number four is this little guy with the red hat. So we've got one, two, three, four. This reading is timeless, so there is no date stamp on it from when you watch it. This is a intuitive reading mostly. I do go by the cards, but I want you to be able to just maybe pause the video, sit here, and pick a card, pick a pile in regards to love. So pile number one, two, three, and four. I'll just give you a moment. And go by your gut intuition, don't go by your head, don't go by where your eyes go, go by what you feel, okay? And go usually by your first instinct, all right? The timestamps are down below, so whatever pile you pick, feel free to jump ahead. And we are going to start with Pile number one, I'm gonna just move pile number two, three, and four out of the way. Two, three, and four, we'll go over here. Let's start with pile number one. We'll put your little guy here. Awesome, let's see. Now, I am gonna to have to read a book for, for this card. It's a new deck that I got, The Earth Warriors by Alana Fairchild and <coughs> excuse me <coughs> i haven't gone through the deck very much i think i've used them like three times a handful of times so let's take a look and see what's going on in regards to yes or no all right so i'm just going to look at them first okay we've got our clarifiers here moving forward and some shady stuff okay so i'm going to just look up what this earth warrior one is just so i can get a feel for it i kind of have a feel already for what it is okay so we're going to give you the overall read of i'm going to read it first and give you the overall energy of this reading first for yes or no in your love life okay the card that's come up is pacha karmak nourishment of the soul you are granted the gift of fertility, creativity, and earthly abundance to support all needs for nourishing your body, mind, and soul, and to live your life fully and be capable of manifesting your divine purpose. Give yourself permission to be nourished. This includes your body and also providing your heart, your mind, your soul with what they are hungry for, meaning sweetness, divine love, and permission to be authentic. When you feed yourself, that which sorry that which truly nourishes you wisely and generously you shall become one who can also feed the world that for which it truly hungers wow that's really powerful you guys okay so that's the overall read on top of that you're being asked to really stand in your power right you're really being asked to realize that you can have abundance you can have the things that you truly desire simply by manifesting your divine purpose and being in a place of alignment and it's interesting because the portal that's opened up is my light illuminates the world you're being asked to radiate your radiance so i feel that you've been somewhat in a darker spot lately um i feel that you really want to move forward i think coming towards the end of the year there's some definitely some things that have um caused you some pain and has caused you um, a place where I feel that you are kind of hung right now. So I feel you're in a really not so sure place. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't know why I'm coughing. <clears throat> something must be with my throat chakra because I haven't coughed all day. So there's something here probably about speaking your truth and speaking up for yourself, um, <clears throat> which is interesting because we have the King of Swords here. So we'll go into that. You have here the Let's start with these ones, the Psychic Tarot. You've got two sevens. Sevens is a very spiritual number in all spirituality, in all religions, in all um, texts. Seven is really about abundance. Seven, seven, seven is really a lot of, uh, about abundance, good luck, uh, wheel of fortune, things coming up in your honor, things spinning probably in your favor now. And I think in the past you've had some deception and you've had um, 
some shadiness that was going on some some things that you came into an awareness about in your love life okay some things came forward that made you want to chariot ahead and move forward and this was really a big learning lesson for you guys and what i'm getting really i'll tell you what i'm getting from this reading because i'm not saying it's a yes I'm not saying it's a no just yet, so just hang on, we'll, we'll get there. Um, but in this relationship, something in your love life has been revealed to you, and that's why Spirit is asking you to come into a place of recognizing that you can nourish yourself, you can love yourself, you can honor the love in yourself. You're now time for you to shine your light in the world and to be who you really came here to be. It's time to remove the mask and to move forward. We're also being given the Three of Earth and the Four of Air. So that's the three of pentacles. And that could be also, you know, the power of creativity, recognizing that you need to work harder. It could also mean a third party situation. So you have to take it as you wish. But I really feel that this has something to do with what this relationship and what love has brought to you at this point in regards to noticing your own light and recognizing some shadiness that's happened. That's why you need to move forward. So here with the three of pentacles, the power is to recognize that you have really good qualities to give to somebody else okay you have a lot to offer somebody else and you're basically sitting back and just resting time to take a vacation to just look at this and to look at this situation in your love life here there were illusions again so we've got tarot that's clarifying illusions the eight of swords being stuck deception we've got the chariot twice okay so you're really kind of like running out of there and there has there there's the king of swords and i feel like you've either cut something out in communication um and you've um yeah i feel that you've cut things out in communication things uh haven't totally <clears throat> been about speaking truth okay and that's why i was feeling in my throat that things weren't coming up things weren't being truthful and you're really in a stagnant place. And what I'm getting from the universe right now is not right now. Okay, that's kind of what I'm getting right now. So it's not a yes and it's not a no. So I'm sorry, pal number one, but that's kind of what I'm getting from this energy. Because you're being told by the Earth Warriors card to really love yourself and to come in this place of abundance, this is a time for you to move forward. You've seen the truth. You've seen the, the deception fall away. You've seen that you have to love yourself and move forward. Now really <clears throat> move forward, taking a rest, working hard at your life, making you know being more creative being more of a team player now um could have been a third party situation could have that's for some people i don't have enough clarifiers here to tell you right away because this is just yes or no um but you know finding things out and moving forward and honoring your light so could this situation in love happen down the road yes or no to your question it could be a possibility okay but it depends really what i'm getting from spirit of where you are aligning to okay you can either step back into the eight of swords and into illusion and you can definitely do that lots of people do that and go back into the situation or you can gain this as the abundance and the learning lessons in order to create and manifest your true life's purpose here on the planet and doing that that means you're going to really charge ahead and you're going to really take a rest and observe things from behind so that you can really create what you need to in your life and work really hard at it so it's a not right now and I'm truly sorry about that, but if you wanted to define yes or no, but that's the answer from, from spirit, okay? Um, I hope you like this. Please like, share, and subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you if this resonated with you, um, if this pick a card pile number one really resonated with you in regards to your situation. I would love to hear all the feedback that I can get, okay? Thank you, pile number one. Okay, let's take a look at pile number two. Who had this little angel? It's cute. Aren't these guys cute? They're my kids. <laughs> little Roblox, I don't know, things. They're like Lego. Okay, pile number two. Let's take a look at yes or no. <clears throat> okay. Wow, you guys went through some stuff. Um, 
You've got a lot of clarifiers here. Okay. So, I'm going to read out the first card because, I, like I said, it's a new deck. And I don't... <laughs> I don't know this deck very well. It's the Earth Warriors Oracle. So before we start, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this and comment and um, it'll help me out a lot. Let's take a look here at Star of Venus. Sha ah, I don't know if I can say this. Chaaska. Chaaska. Beautiful. We're going to read this to you. <coughs> I don't know what's going on with me. <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> I started the readings and my throat is just totally acting up <clears throat> a lot of speaking truth and clarity coming through so this card the Shaaska star of Venus supports an inner shift to higher consciousness whether or not you consider yourself to be financially skillful part of uh, sorry whether or not you consider yourself to be a financial financially skillful Part of your sacred power and purpose includes the healing of economic and financial matters in your own life and in the world. You are meant to experience abundance, creating and sharing prosperity from a place of inner spiritual security. A healing liberation from poverty consciousness allows the universe to work through you more easily without the obstruction of negative conditioning. Wow, so you guys are really at a place of manifesting and learning how to own your power, especially around finances. <clears throat> so something in this relationship may have triggered something in regards to finances. And it's funny because you do have the Five of Pentacles that has come up as a clarifier. Let's move on first, though, to the first two cards that I picked out. <clears throat> so this is really talking about abundance, financial, about your mission in regards to the financial area. And this is a love reading. So it's really interesting how it's playing in part so i feel that there was some intimacy in regards to the relationship in regards to the love the person that you're inquiring about your situation they're inquiring about the sacral chakra and you've got the ace of swords so the ace of swords is really about truth and vitality and creative new ideas so this could be something that i feel that you may be working towards with something in regards to financial in regards to work in regards to the path that that you both are looking towards now in regards to that the the portal that's opening up is listening to your heart okay your heart is going to guide you okay i trust in the messages i receive from my heart and i really feel that it's about listening from your heart instead of more thinking of your mind so this is a really fine balance that that you're looking at getting into because the ace of um swords here <clears throat> excuse me i'm sorry see <clears throat> something is going on sorry about that guys um i start doing these readings and like i was fine until i started with pile one so um you've got the sword of truth this is like a double-edged sword it could be either be light or dark so use it wisely because you're very powerful in regards to how you use the sword of truth that comes out in your intimate relationships and the sacral is really about where your soul somewhat resides so this is your gut feelings your instincts and start learning to go with that and using your heart at the same time to make your decisions in your life so this has to do with money i feel it has to do with mission work it has to do with maybe you work with this individual um it has to do with how you're working in the financial area and in your love life so these angel cards that i picked up is <laughs> there's some struggle here okay and i've got the clarifiers here we've got ego <clears throat> okay we've also got the five of air and we've got the nine of air okay so we've got swords here which is pain being left on the cold depression <clears throat> and these are a false sense of entrapment okay which is by the ego this is again what i was saying earlier getting out of your mind and learning how to come from your heart and your intuition and i feel that once you can do that things will progress and how you need to now there's a really big concern around money here because you have the five of pentacles so because you have the five of pentacles there are some financial changes that are happening here now your heart has either been closed down financially from a relationship or by a career maybe that ended with somebody in the workplace these are just different scenarios that i'm, I'm, I'm picking up on because the decision need to be needed to be made you have the moon in regards to this relationship okay you have the lovers 
and there was some decisions to be made around this, okay, because it's also a decision card in regards to finances, some <clears throat> hidden things that came up, and also you have a decision here to make, the Two of Wands. Okay. So I'm feeling the situation really closed up your heart, right? This situation in this relationship has brought some financial discord to your life. And I see a new beginning that's happening for you, okay? I see this more as past energy that's happened, that you felt trapped, and, and you may be still just starting to come out of this, okay? About depressed, being left out in the cold. Um, somebody, something has happened in this relationship here. And so opening your heart and moving forward, I see a lot of hope here for you because of the Ace of uh, Ace of Swords and the Sacral Chakra that's being activated, okay? And because you're, you started using your gut operation and your heart is opening and this relationship is coming out, there are things that are coming out, there are financial changes that are happening again. Mm -hmm. Spirit is saying this is really you're on the upswing and that there's new abundance that's coming in. And so, yes, I'm getting an answer that, yes, this is you're leaving this behind you now. OK, I feel that you're now honoring your sole purpose. OK, and that you can be on your own. You can do this financial thing on your own. If it's work that you're looking for, you had to leave work or something in regards to that. That's coming. It's just opening your heart in regards to what happened to this to this love relationship and regarding the things that kind that came up i see that the towers are up <clears throat> but as i'm looking at this spirit is like almost telling me that they fell or they're about to fall like as soon as you cross it but that they're saying that this is where the financial concerns are, are somewhat coming from okay um but they're saying that this is a brand new beginning that's coming that's going to be more authentic for you with the choices that you're going to make in your life. And so <clears throat> the financial issues that are coming out of this fall, as long as you open and your heart and you move and trust and you use your sword wisely as you're creating your new beginning, I feel that, yes, things there is a lot of abundance that's coming towards you. And I feel that your answer is a yes. Okay, I hope that helped you, pile number two. Please comment, let me know how that goes and <clears throat> why I'm having throat issues. Like speaking up, I think there's a lot of truth seekers um, or truth coming up for people these days. So um, yeah, I would love to hear what you thought about your pick a card reading. Okay, yes or no, but it is a yes for you guys, pile number two. Oh no, his head fell off. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Pile number three. Hi guys, if you picked the little guy in the suit, let's see what we got for you. Oh no. He doesn't want to stand. All right, there we go. Let's see what's going on with you guys. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and, and get that little bell there for notifications so you can get more readings from me and don't forget to check out my website renawells.com I've got a lot of great blogs on there too I write a lot of spiritual text so take a look at it all right pile number three you got three of these angel cards okay okay immediately looking at this I'm already feeling like it's a yes <clears throat> like a definite yes Okay, so I already know this card. I don't need to read this card. This is Spirit of the Warrior. Okay, I'll read it anyways. <laughs> but the Spirit of the Warrior is somebody that is going to move forward no matter what. <clears throat> okay. Through, though you yearn for peace, you recognize that without truth, genuine peace can never be. And even if it trigger, triggers an un sorry and even if it triggers an upheaval of transformation the need to set things right is very strong in you this is the inner drive of the spiritual warrior the compelling soul needs to uphold truth goodness and justice and you will fight for these things because that is your way spirit warrior trust and see and feel the positive impact that you are making in the world you are relentless and the divine is with you do not give up wow 
So that is really tapping into some deep, powerful strength in you. And I feel that you are on the cusp of something really big, pile number three, okay? We've got your portal that's opening up, which is emerging into grace, which is beautiful. Look at how she's totally surrendering to the universe. She's got her hands down by the water. She's laying down and fully in a surrendered place. It's really, really, really beautiful. So I feel that you're opening up to allowing the universe. And I really see, yes, that I feel that you've been going through a really difficult time, that the abundance is right here. You've got accelerated motion as well. Things are about to move very quickly in your love life because you've been holding a lot of patience. So just keep holding that temperance. There could also be a reconciliation that's coming forward. But keep holding that temperance and that patience and that balance because things are about to get move very quickly fast communication fast moving um really really quick you've also got here um you're moving on things are looking up you're moving away from something that was no longer good for you you've got the wheel there's a new cycle of good fortune that's coming and you've got a really successful Midas touch in creating and manifesting so i see a lot of amazing energy that's coming forward to you and i feel that it's fully in a place of a yeah man this is happening for you okay you've also got some nice clarifiers here you've got the ace of wands that you have a brand new beginning that is fully emerging okay and this is all because you've been able to surrender pile number three you've been able to give everything to the universe and the universe is like yeah man here we go you moved on from things that didn't serve you you allowed things to come into your life and things are about to really pick up if they haven't picked up they're about to pick up really quick okay You've also got the Midas touch. You've got really strong King Earth energy. And this could be you or the person that you're inquiring about. But I feel that this person is coming along with the Knight of Wands and is moving very quickly back into your direction because I also feel that there isn't that there could be a reconciliation that's happening here, okay? With the with the temperance card. All right, possibility or a new beginning with somebody or a new beginning in love that's coming because you're surrendering, okay? Either way, you're getting a new passionate beginning, very much so. And it could also be with a divine counterpart, okay? That's my divine masculine card as the emperor. So somebody could be coming back as a reconciliation. The answer is yes. You've really been a warrior spirit. You've been surrendering. You have realized that you are not giving up on your path. You are here to do what you're meant to do. And now that you're surrendering pile number three, beautiful abundance is just coming. Just keep relaxing into it. Um, keep allowing things to happen. That's why this patience card is here. Okay. Keep um, owning your power in this situation. It feels really good. <clears throat> things are, whew, that chakra is totally cleared up, eh? <laughs> I think that was like speaking truth for the first two piles. This pile, um, I feel much more clear. I feel that you've been doing your work. And I know you may be wondering, like, hey, when is this going to happen? But I, it's hap if you haven't noticed, it's going to happen now. And it's going to happen quickly. Okay, so just give it a little time because you've got accelerated motion and you beginning. And you've got the Knight of Wands, which can be player energy. But it's also just fast moving energy is what I'm feeling. Because you've got two very stable kings and the emperor here, which <clears throat> I feel is a divine counterpart. So your answer is yes to that. Okay. Would love to hear your comments. That's a, that's good. That felt really good. That felt really good. Pile number three. That was, you guys are easy. Easy peasy. Must be this guy in the suit. La la la. <laughs> All right, let's move to pile number four. Pile number four. You have this little guy with the little baseball hat. La la la. I feel like, I feel like you should maybe make YouTube videos with these things down. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing? I'm reading tarot. All right, let's see. Pile number four. What's going on with you? Oh, wow. Oh, beautiful. Oh, my God. I haven't even looked at the other cards. Like, I, I don't look at the cards. I shuffle them. I put them down. And I look at them when I'm on camera. Um, I, I'm just going to say, I feel like I'm going to, I'm going to, I don't want to say it. Let, let, let's try this out. I feel like it's a yes. I, okay. Spirit is saying, let's do this. Spirit is saying it could be a, it could definitely be a yes if you fall into your divine feminine role. Okay. The first card is way of the divine feminine revealed and wow, what a card. Just breathe that in for a moment. Okay. She's got a butterfly right at her third eye chakra emanating a triangle of divine wisdom. God, that's beautiful. 
Oh my God, that's so beautiful. I'm, I'm curious to look at your cards. <laughs> okay, you've got communicating freely. Yeah, third eye chakra, awareness. Um, oh, you only got one angel card? I'm going to pull another angel card for you. got eight of air. I'm going to pull another angel card for you guys. Sorry, guys. See? I thought that you had... I, I asked for two, and I guess one I thought that was two. And Can we get another angel card for pile number four, please? Let's just do that before we do your reading, guys. Because I picked two, eight, two to three angel cards I asked for each, and you guys only got one, and I feel... No, there's something missing, so... That's interesting. Hmm. Okay, Spirit, for pile number four, can you please bring an angel? Yeah, I gotta shuffle that again. Can you please bring an angel, another angel card, one or two more angel cards for pile number four, please? For yes or no in their love relationships. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I will cut. They wanted me to cut. One or two more angel cards, please, for pile number four. Whoever is watching this, thank you. We got three. All right, we'll take them. All right. Yep, yeah, Ace of Earth, new beginning. Eight working really hard. Okay. Wow. Well, you got you got a lot of eights going on. You got eights and fours and twos, so you've got a lot of even numbers. So eights is all about abundance as well. Okay, that's coming in. So let's read the card first because what I'm getting, I'm I'm getting possibly that yes, it could be a yes. That's what I was feeling from just this card. But let's let's take a look at that card, okay? And it's number eleven. Woo! Yeah, this is a really highly charged pile number four. You guys are highly charged, I'm, and I'm feeling very different energy with you guys, like holy energy almost. The Divine Feminine yearns to reveal her way and her wisdom to you, that you may live passionately and purposefully. As you trust her inner guiding voice, you recognize the authentic desires and visions that move you from within that are the seeds of your sacred mission. You shall experience the clarity and soul-deep relief that only truth can bring. You shall experience a knowing of purpose, purpose that awakens your ability to live deliberately and experience deep fulfillment." You are being lovingly pushed to admit to your authentic and most passionate soul yearnings, becoming bold with honesty. Wow. Oh, you are. Whoa. I am sorry, guys. This is really powerful. Um, this is birthing your divine feminine. This is you becoming the womb of creation. This is you. This is a divine compliment. Okay, this is your twin flame. I'm just going to say it. That's really what I feel in the energy. Okay. And, um,. There's going to be communication between you guys. If you haven't talked to, to the, your divine masculine in a while, if you're a divine masculine watching, just take it back. This flips back and forth, okay? Um, it could be that your divine feminine is going to be communicating with you. Um, but there's going to be some communication. That's the portal that's opening up. And that's because you've been surrendering to your divine feminine, okay? The cards that are coming up here is the magician, awareness. And your third eye chakra is being activated. So your abilities are heightening. Your connection to source is just, whoo, wow, going off the freaking map right now. I mean, you are getting, whew. okay, guys, okay. Like, your abilities are totally picking up, okay? Like, fully, 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 fully picking up. And I'm saying that because the first card that we got, look at her third eye. Okay, and then you've got magician, third eye. Okay, then you actually got the third eye. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't, <laughs> that's just how it is. And you're getting communication, you know, coming out of your mouth, beautiful, going out into the ethers. All right, that's the throat chakra. Beautiful, really beautiful. So there's a lot of, shift that's happening right now in your divine union okay the angel cards that i got was you may be feeling that you're trapped okay you've got the eight of of swords here all right so you may feel that you're being trapped 
But don't worry about that because the two eights that are coming out is that you're working hard. Okay, you're working hard at getting out of that energy. Okay, and I feel that you already are. I feel that this was just an old way. There may be some residual stuff that things haven't quite moved forward, but like it's like boom. If you haven't heard from your divine complex, you're going to hear very soon. And keep, you know, you've got the four of cups. You may feel that you've missed an opportunity, but no, you haven't. You letting go and and making this decision, I feel that you had to make a decision around some shady ass shit and go within, okay? That's what I feel that you had to, that had to happen because we've got the seven of swords, the two of swords, and the hermit. So I feel that you had to go in, divine feminines, okay? I feel like you had to pull away, you had to sit, you had to relax, and you had to let go, right? Whew! But that's bringing the Ace of Pentacles. That's bringing a whole damn new beginning towards you guys. It's really beautiful. So yeah, I think it's a yes. I believe it's a yes. I feel it's a yes if you continue to hold this space, like I said at the very beginning, okay? I feel like um, you have to um, work really, keep working at getting out of this illusion of being trapped in this energy. Whatever energy you feel it that's keeping you trapped, keep working at it that it's just an illusion, okay? And that's why you've got the Four of Cups. It's not a missed opportunity. You're relaxing, you're sitting back, and you've gone into hermit mode. You've made the decision in regards to, you know, some shady ass shit that was happening. And because there was some, you know, manipulation or things not really coming to the surface and you made a choice and went within, this has created in the divine feminine to now fully opening into her creative power. It's really beautiful. And because you're now stepping into it and you're working really hard at getting out of the ego entrapment, you're get, you're coming into huge manifestation abilities, huge third eye chakra activation and brand new earth abundance. You know, this is inflow of abundance, inflow of abundance, ace of pentacles, brand new start in the earth plane, brand new. So yours is a yes if you continue doing what you're doing. A definite, yeah, huge abundance, huge abundance coming. Masculine, divine masculine coming back, communicating with you guys. It's, it's really a beautiful reading. So keep doing what you're doing and it's going to pay off. It's definitely going to pay off the decisions that you made. And this is what I'm getting. You feel like you had a missed opportunity and you've gone in with the decision that you made, you know, in regards to, you know, this, this, stuff that came up right in regards to um this manipulation that was happening um and the deceit that was happening and you went within about this and you worked at it and that's exactly what what a divine union is about and now you're getting like activated 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 so i'm also getting spirit is saying like rest drink a lot of water and take it's okay that you're feeling drained right now okay this shift that you're going through, take the time. Don't worry. And Spirit is like, I didn't work out. I didn't eat good this week. I actually went and I like drank too much. Or Spirit is like, just chill the hell out. It's okay. <laughs> do what you need to do to keep it, to keep yourself in this place of allowing. Okay? Don't block yourself. And communication is coming. If it hasn't already, it will. And you've got a beautiful new beginning that's manifesting. So beautiful. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Please comment if you like this pick a card reading. Please say, uh, let me know how you felt about this. If you liked it, that would be amazing. And thank you for staying. If you stay to the end of my video, I really appreciate it. And um, take care, guys. Love, love. Bye. Dio yo no prachotaya.